I want to thank you for the great introduction, although I don't speak Spanish, and I apologize for that. And uh, so I couldn't hear the introduction, but it sounded like uh, Paloma, who translated my bio, did the whole 75-page bio. So I'll try to be succinct now as I put together my talk. You know, uh, how many of you saw the movie last night? Anybody here? What do you think about the movie? Did you enjoy it? Ah, uh, Viva Cristo Rey. Viva Cristo Rey. Bravo. Okay, we're going to talk about something else. You know, there is a difference between indoctrination and education. Education comes from the Latin root educo, to lead out of darkness. It meant originally to lead out of the darkness of paganism. There is also indoctrination. And what we have not pointed out yet, although every one of the parents here know it, and I'm here to speak to you more than anybody else, the parents and the grandparents, what we know is that there is another teacher. In fact, there's another teacher in our home. In fact, that teacher is the mass media, including television, radio, iPhones, iPads, all of the different media tools that consume the time of our children and dictate their behavior to them. So today, in a very brief amount of time, I want to help you understand the influence of the mass media of entertainment that is not educating your children, leading them out of darkness, but quite often indoctrinating your children, leading them exactly in the wrong direction. So there's a book up there. If I don't cover all my talk, go up to my booth up there and get the book and uh, make your life easier. Why, as I asked yesterday, do children go from this innocent, beautiful girl, which is actually one of my granddaughters, I don't know who the other girl who's drinking is, uh, but why do they go from that? Because they have been indoctrinated by movies that corrupt their values. In fact, Norman Stone had a better movie to put in that spot yesterday, and that was in uh, Hangover 2, either one of the Hangover movies. And those movies, Norman pointed out, are rated R, restricted. But rated R in the United States does not attract adults. It attracts teenagers. It's like a blink blinking red sign above, let's say, an alcohol shop or something even worse. It attracts the wrong crowd. The more educated you are, and we have an, a very educated panel. I was enjoying those talks so much that it kept me awake and I was exhausted. But the more educated, the more you know that the media is influencing. In fact, most teachers understand that they're competing against the mass media of entertainment. And in fact, not only that, but one of the teachers, because I served as chairman of a department at the University of California, Berkeley. It's the Center for Art, Religion, Education, Graduate Theological Union, University of California, Berkeley. That's a long thing to say. But one of the teachers, one of the professors, got so tired of competing with the media, he just turned the TV on and he left the room. We also know that the more intelligent a child is, and I pointed this out to some of you yesterday, the more they get educated by the mass media. If you're telling me that you're not educated by the mass media, that you're not being affected by the movie last night, if the movie did not teach you something and speak to your heart and change your life, you're telling me that you're less intelligent. And if you're telling me that your children are not being educated by what they're watching, you're telling me they're less intelligent. There have been 500,000 studies in the United States on the mass media, according to Senator Lieberman. Now, I said this as a joke the other day at Pepperdine University because, as a matter of fact, every university does studies on the mass media of entertainment. I've been the head of a department at two universities, and we do a lot of studies on the mass media, and 99.99% .99 of the studies, only one goes in the opposite direction. It was done in 1985, and it's never been replicated, say that the media influences our children. The evidence is irrefutable. By the time they're 17 years old, and I hope the panel will look at this, they've seen 60,000 hours of media. They've gone to school for 11,000 hours. So the school teacher who's trying vainly to work against the media is operating in a, in a very difficult situation. They spend 2,000 hours with parents because the state has taken the children away to go to school where they're watching movies anyway on their iPads. And then they spend 800 hours in church. Boys are fed large doses of violence. Now we know from all those studies that there are four reactions to what they watch. Number one, seven to 11% of the kids want to copy what they see. 
They're the ones who go out and become the bullies. Another small percentage are afraid. You remember, my name is Teddy Bear. I was, grew up as a little pudgy teddy bear. I'm still a pudgy teddy bear. I didn't want to get beaten up. I was in the fear category. And then there are another group that are desensitized. They just stand around and watch as you're being beaten up. We've still got a lot of time. Girls are discouraged by what they see. And the fact of the matter is, as the girls watch that, they lose their self-esteem. And the less self-esteem they have, the girls are more susceptible to being sucked into all sorts of sexual degradation. I'm going to skip the movie because we just uh, can't do that. Children abandoning their parents' values in the United States. 90% of the children are abandoning the faith and values of their parents, the Christian faith and values. It's already happened in Europe, but it's happening now in the United States. How did this happen? To be very brief, in the golden age of Hollywood, the church was the dominant influence, the Catholic Legion of Decency, the Protestant Film Office. My father was a cowboy star. My mother was an MGM star. And then the church abandoned the culture. In the mid-60s, the church lost the cultural mandate. And within three years, you went from 100% movies that anybody could watch to 82% restricted movies. You went from The Sound of Music to the first X-rated movie. You went from The Greatest Story Ever Told to the first Sex and Satanism movie. Illegitimate birth rates shot through the roof in every country. The cost to taxpayers was extremely high. And the solution starts with you. How does it start with you? One, yesterday I told you you had to make great movies and entertainment. God has laid these stories on your heart. We can teach you how to do that. But number two, you have to teach your children media wisdom, and we know exactly how to teach the children media wisdom. These are the several points of teaching children media wisdom. I can show you how to teach it. When I was head of the TV department, City University of New York, we had 60 of the best professors at City University and around the country put together the first media literacy course in 1978. We know how to teach it. It is beyond my comprehension that parents are not teaching their kids to be media-wise, so they reject the values of the mass media and they adopt the values of their parents. The antidote, for instance, to addiction to computer games and violence is take them off games and just limit it to three, 30 minutes a week get them to bed early, and talk to them and feed them nutritious meals. In the United States where this has been done, the kids that were called ADD children have been shown after two months to give up all need for Ritalin drugs. They have become stable members of society. Here's the book. Go up to the top floor. Get a copy of the book. You can make a tremendous difference in your life. Get Movie Guide. It's free. Free. Did you hear the word free? Makes it very easy for you. 74% of the girls don't like the sex and violence they see in movies. 58% of the boys. That means that they're on our side. You have to equip your children to stand against the wiles of the adversary. You can do just that. And that's the end of our time. I'll tell you how to do the rest of it later. Go up to the top, talk to me. God bless you, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Viva Cristo Rey!